What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub and then be notified for future readings. This is free journal for the readings of Tata Leo. This for an AP of Leo. Any aspects of your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free journal for the readings for Tata Leo. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, Thai Pieces Pro 5, the links in the description box below. I appreciate all the donations. I don't even know why I said that. I mean, y'all know the don donation things in the link is in the description box below. I guess I'm just used to saying it from the past. But if you want to, if you want to donate, you're welcome to donate. But um, I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I do. Okay, so this is for Santa Leo. This is for an AP of Leo. Any aspects of your charts? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Okay, so I received a couple channelings as I was meditating on your energy, Leo. This is free general collective reading. This is for 11 28 of 2022 to 12 5 of 2022. The first channeling I received was um, a Leo's career is about to take off in a very fast, positive way. Um, I heard the goat, the goat. So I'm um, just saying, just saying. So whoever you are, Leo, um, your career is about to take off in a very fast, positive way. The goat. So anybody doesn't know the goat is the greatest of all time. Um, now there's many goats out in the universe, and that's just the truth. But um, one of you guys is definitely the goat. You're the greatest of all time, and um, your career is about to take off in a very fast, positive way. Um, I think you're a GOAT in your career field or your career sector, or you have been in one shape, form, or fashion in your life, or you're about to be, how that resonates and applies, okay? But the GOAT means greatest of all time. So I think you've already proven yourself in some shape, form, or fashion, and you're about to prove yourself again is what I think. But you plug it in, how it resonates, you can be master of Leo. And then um, the other one I heard was a Taurus and a Leo, another Leo, um, is secretly working behind the scenes with you um, to make your career take off very fast and positive. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, so heavy career energy in here. Now, I feel it can be any kind of career, Leo, whatever career um, that is and how that resonates and applies in your life, okay? Um, there's million careers out there, million professions out there. So however that resonates and applies, okay? But heavy career energy, however that resonates for you, okay? And I just heard take another one. I don't ever do four, but I heard take another one. So, um, yeah. So career is about to take off in a very fast, positive way. Um, greatest of all time. So, so kind of goat energy and, um, a Taurus. And another Leo is working secretly working behind the scenes to make this happen. So you plug it in, how it resonates. It could be a master of him, Taurus, master of him, Leo, secretly working behind the scenes to make this happen. Um, goat energy, Leo, if that resonates for you. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Clouds, temporary problems. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. A Leo is about to be asked out on a date soon. You have a lot of suitors really wanting to take you out on a date. You need to use your best discernment. A Leo is about to be asked out on a date soon. I heard you have a lot of suitors. A lot. Of, so a lot of people don't want to ask you out on a date. Masculine Femme Leo. But I heard you use your best discernment. I think that's where the do not be tempted to lower your standards comes in. And the compliments from an admirer. You have a lot of people want to ask you out on a date, apparently. A lot. Um, but you need to use your best discernment. Because it doesn't sound like all these people would be good matches to go out with. And, you know, we all grow and learn. And I don't know about you guys, but I've been on some horrible dates before. And that's just the truth. Some horrible freaking dates. Um, and that's just the truth. <laughs> so, you know, and we all are supposed to elevate in the universe. You're supposed to go up in life, not go down. Um, 
so I hope everybody lives and learns from the past like I have. Um, and if you sense the vibe is off about this person or they're not on your same energy or frequency or level, it would, to me, it would not be smart to lower your standards. Somebody that's on your lower level, somebody that's not on the same wavelength as you, somebody that's not the same energetic space as you. You want somebody that's good for you mentally, spiritually, physically, sexually, emotionally, all those things, same level or higher. So you can level up, they can level up, you can all level up together, not go down. Female needs to hear that. Spirit messages you have to New beginnings, getting asked out on a date, and the career. I'm feeling career about to skyrocket for a goat. Just saying, just saying. Number 10 could be very significant number in one's life. Number 10, it could be very, um, it could be a possible age of viewers by your connected to or any other significant number. Number 10. Also, 10s are completions of cycles. So, cycle completed, new cycle coming. And I feel that's the lots of suitors in the dating department for one of you. And for one, the career about to skyrocket, goat. Just saying, just saying. You are definitely a very outspoken person. Outspoken and not afraid to put yourself out there. And this is about to benefit you in a huge way. And good with people. You're very outspoken. You're not afraid to put yourself out there. And you're very good with people, um, whoever you are. You're outspoken. You're not afraid to put yourself out there. So you're not, you know, you don't hide tucked away oh don't look at me you know you're not you're not like that you don't you're not afraid to get out there and put yourself out there um, and you're outspoken so you you tell it how it is good or bad I'm presuming you're not afraid to put yourself out there you're not scared you know I don't want to go outside no it's not like that like you like to get out do out go out do I'm presuming and um and you are good with people. So good people skills. Um, I think you know how to converse with people, um, communicate with people, um, laugh and joke and um, or be serious with people. How that resonates and applies. Like you, I feel whatever the situation it is with the good with people energy, like if you know to be serious, you are serious. If you know you can joke and laugh and hee haw around, you can joke and laugh and hee haw around. If um, it is a, you know, a, um, time where you have to be, you know, quiet and, um, and what have you, what have you, you like, you know, what you do in certain social settings is what I'm feeling. Otter, otter. An Aquarius has been trying to get you to do something. Really been trying to get you to do something out in the universe. It is very smart that you're not doing this because it's about to backfire on them in a huge way. It would not benefit you. Okay, and Aquarius is really trying to get you to do something out in the universe. I didn't hear specifically what it was, so whatever that is. Some kind of Aquarius energy. I don't know if this is peer pressure or whatever it is, but some kind of Aquarius energy has been trying to get you to do something out in the universe, but I heard you haven't been doing it. So I feel for some that's peer pressure, uh, whatever this Aquarius has been trying to get you to do. Um, I feel like peer pressure, like that's very immature energy, but... Or they've been trying and trying and trying to get you to do it out in the universe, but you're basically refusing to do it. But I heard it's actually uh, about to benefit you and backfire on them. So um, whatever that is and how that applies, I didn't hear specifically what, what that is. That could be the temporary problems, possibly. For one, it is prostitution. For one, it is moving. It's about to backfire on them in a huge way. 
Oh, that's negative energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, okay, I was feeling it wasn't something good that benefited you because I heard it wouldn't, and it's about to backfire on them. So for one of these Aquarius, they want you to prostitute. For one, they want you to move. Far locations. Okay, so for one, they want you to prostitute, and one, they want you to move far locations, but I heard you haven't done either one of them, and it's about to backfire on them. Um, so where they want you to prostitute, which, okay, Leo, whoever you are, please don't sell your body. Please don't sell your body. Please don't, man. There's so many more things you can do out in the universe to sell your body. There's Postmates. There's Ship. There's Uber Eats. There's, you can go to school. Get a trade. Get a profession. Um, there's so many more things you can do than sell your body, if anybody needs to hear that. So, for the prostitution one. And for one, it's move far distances. But I heard um, neither one of them have occurred. So, good for you. Just saying. Otter. You're about to have huge positive things happen for you. Huge positive career situation happen for you. Soon. A child is about to come back into your life soon. Sooner than you think. With an apology. Oh my God. Okay, I heard you're about to have huge positive career things um, happen to you soon, uh, Leo, if this resonates for you. Um, huge career energy in here, and that could be the star energy with the goat. Star, like success star energy. Like you, you're a goat or going to be a goat. So star energy, babe. Um, but you have, for one, you have a child that's either, I feel they're estranged from, I feel they're estranged from you because I heard they're about to come back into your life and one with an apology. Um soon uh, it sounds like once your career starts taking off or is about to start taking off um uh, i don't feel they're talking to you or you're talking to them or somehow something happened to where you're not interject connection with them anymore is what i'm presuming um whoever this child is uh, i heard it's your child so it could be your biological child or your foster child however that resonates and applies but for some i feel it could be a taurus capricorn virgo for some it could be a water sign child but however that resonates or any other sign child, but um, I didn't hear what sign of child it is, but they're going to come back soon into your life. I think once they see your career is about to start taking off in a positive way, and I heard one of them with an apology, um, and I heard sooner than later, so they're going to come back into your life sooner than you think, I think, and one with an apology. And that could be the new beginnings too, how that resonates and applies. Starfish. A Scorpio thought you were a scam, a spam, and a fraud. Some in the spiritual realm, some in your 3D career realm. But they're about to get a huge ass wake up call and realize you're not. One has already got a huge wake up call and realized you're not. They're about to reap very heavy negative karma because they have talked very badly about you in the past. Very badly. Okay, so some kind of Scorpionic energy. Masculine and Scorpio. They can have Scorpio in any aspects of their charts. <coughs> Excuse me. Scorpionic energy. Um, masculine and Scorpio. There's two of them. Um, so, for one, you work in a 3D works pro professional workspace, I feel. For one, you do something in the spiritual realm. You know, that could be a reader, a spiritualist, a teacher, um, whatever you do in the spiritual realm, okay? A psychic, uh, intuitive, gifted, light worker, what have you, what have you. Some kind of spiritual realm energy, okay? But however that resonates, um, this Scorpio it has lot. They thought you were a scam, a spam, or a frauder, either in the spiritual realm. So they thought you were a, a dark arts person or just a scam, spam, or a frauder. A fake ass, basically, and for in the spiritual realm, and you do something in the spiritual realm, and I feel it's online. I didn't hear it was, but I feel it is. One is something out in the 3D profession wise. So, but they're about to get a huge ass wake up call because something's about to positively take off with your career. I feel either spiritual realm wise or um, 3D profession workspace wise, and it's about to 
give one has already gotten a huge wake up call. You're not a scam, a spam, or a fraud, and one is about to. Um, how that resonates and applies. Heavy Scorpio energy. This is your Scorpio energy, uh, water sign energy. Um, they thought you were a scam, spam, fraud. But one of these people already knows you're not. One is about to get a huge wake up call and realize you're not, whether it's spiritual realm related or um, 3D profession wise related. Okay. And for one, their child is about to get very sick, very, very, very sick, unexpectedly sick. For one, it's their grandchild about to get unexpectedly sick, this Scorpio. They're about to come back and apologize for one of them, come back and apologize to you. They know they did you very wrong in the past. Okay, so heavy Scorpio energy. So, for one of them, they have a grandchild. For one, they have a child. Um, and soon, this master in Scorpios, whether they have a grandchild or a child, um, their child or grandchild, I heard that the, the grandchild or the child is about to get very, very, very ill. Um, I heard soon they're about to come back and apologize to you. One of them is. One is going to come back and apologize. I, I didn't hear both of them were, but one of them is. Because the child or grandchild is about to get very ill. Because I heard they know they did you very wrong in the past. So I think they know they're reaping negative karma or they're about to in the form of their child or grandchild about to get very severely ill. This is your Scorpio energy. Heavy Scorpio energy in here. Holy crap. Fair, danger, especially in money matters. For one, your ex-boyfriend is about to experience huge financial issues. Huge. For one, they're going to come back and apologize to you. For one, they're not. For one, it's an ex-sexual partner of the past. Okay, so these are people your past, whether it's an ex-sexual partner or an ex-boyfriend of your past, Leo. Um... They are about to experience huge financial issues. So they are dangerous, especially in money matters. That's their energy. They are about to experience huge financial issues. Um, I heard one of them is going to come back and apologize to you, whether it's an ex-boyfriend or an ex-sexual partner in the past. One's not. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? Um, for one, your ex-boyfriend is going to come back and apologize. For one, your ex-sexual partner in the past is going to come back and apologize. Um, you might get an apology, you might not. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But it's an ex-boyfriend or an ex-sexual partner of the past having all these money issues, basically. Um, if that resonates for you. And a book that was all that was written off a stolen idea of a Leo's in the past is about was not going to do well at all. An air sign wrote this book. They think it's going to take off in a huge way like Harry Potter, but it's not going to. And it is going to upset them in a huge way. Okay, so an air sign wrote a, a book off a stolen idea of the Leos in the past. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Hayward, Jupiter charts. Some kind of air sign wrote a book off of your stolen idea, Leo, if that resonates for you. And they took your idea and put it in a book. Um, I heard like Harry Potter. They thought it was going to take off like Harry Potter, but I heard it's not. It's not. So like Harry Potter, I think that's something like in the magical realm or magic or um, wizards or witches or warlocks or something like that. Something to do with magic or um, magical realm or something of that nature. Okay. But they think it's going to take off like Harry Potter, but it's not. Um, and I heard it's going to piss them off. So you see this bear is pretty angry, man. 
They're pretty angry. Uh, so uh, I think their sign's going to be angry. It's an air sign that stole your idea. So I think they thought they were going to get a come up, come up off this idea of yours that they stole intentionally from you to write this book. But they're not. So the energy is about to boomerang back upon them. And they are not going to get financial come up off this. They're going to have bare danger, especially money matters. It's about to serve them a big ass dose of karma. It's about to serve them a big ass dose of karma is what I heard. It's about to serve them a big ass dose of karma. Well, it should. Bouquet, compliments from an admirer. Let's see if I hear anything else with this. An older Leo masculine is about to be very tempted to spend a lot of money he does not have and put it on a credit card to try to woo back an ex-girlfriend of the past. This really would not be smart. You need to hear this. She is not interested, in, but she will take the gifts. Okay. Well, okay. So you're an older Leo masculine, so I feel it could be 35, 36 or above. Have Leo in any aspects of your charts. You're older Leo masculine, if this resonates for you. I heard you're very, very tempted to basically spend money you don't have. So i.e. put money, uh, credit on a credit card. So it's money you don't have. And I'm presuming you have a credit card or you're about to try to obtain one. But I heard um, buy, you're, you want to buy all these expensive gifts for your ex-girlfriend to try to woo her back for Christmas. And that would make sense because um, the next holiday is Christmas. It's 1128 of 2022. But I heard it wouldn't be smart. She'll take the gifts, but she's not interested in you. So if you were the one that's thinking about doing this, just that spiritual download. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be smart because basically she'll take all the gifts and say thank you, but she's not interested in a relationship. So you're not going to get what you want and you're going to put yourself in debt trying to get what you want. That's for one of you. You haven't done it yet, it doesn't sound like. It sounds like you're thinking about it. But, um, I mean, you could do it if you wanted to, but just know your ass is going to go in debt and you're not going to get her back. So, you know, that's for one of you. Let me go turn the light on, okay? <clears throat> I apologize. Let me see if I hear anything else. And a younger Leo masculine is about to be tempted to go clubbing with a Libra masculine. You work in a jail. This would not be smart. He is under heavy investigation, and you know this. And you're under heavy investigation. Oh, my God. Okay, heavy Leo masculine. Okay, if this resonates for you, you're a younger Leo masculine. So 35, 34 below. You can have Leo in any aspects of your charts, and you work in a jail, if that resonates for you. The Libra masculine, I don't know what profession he is. He may work in a jail. He may not. Only you would know who this Libra masculine is that wants you to go out clubbing with him. Heard he wants you to go out clubbing with him. So I think to bars and clubs and whatever, what I help, I don't know. Whatever you, you guys, young bucks are doing, okay? Um, but I heard it wouldn't be smart because he's under heavy investigation. You know who's under heavy investigation, but I heard you're under investigation too. So I don't, I mean, if this resonates for you, I don't know if you know you're under investigation, but you know he is. So if that resonates for you, just know if you don't know you're under investigation, you are. So it wouldn't be smart. That's for one of you. And I think you, uh, if you go out to this club, bar, bar harping, bar hopping, whatever the hell you're going to do there or want you to do, I think you're going to spend a shit ton of money. Just saying, just saying. And for one younger Leo feminine, you're finances are about to heal in a huge way. Just know that a Libra and a Scorpio that put you out in the cold in the past and intentionally tank your business, they are about to incur huge money loss. Huge. Okay, so for a younger Leo Fem, if that resonates for you, you can be 35, 34 below, have Leo in any aspects of your charts. A Scorpio masculine and a Libra femme intentionally put your business 
tanked and tanked your business into the ground intentionally. It was a Scorpio masculine and a Libra fan. They could have Scorpio or Libra in any aspects of their charts. They intentionally tanked your business into the past. In the past, they intentionally did it. To put you into the bear danger, and especially money matters. You're a younger Leo femme, but it sounds like your business is recovering or is about to recover. I heard your finances are about to go up in a positive way, ma'am. So you're healing from this, but theirs is about to go down. So they they put you here intentionally in the past, but they're about to either go there or damn near go there, and you're about to heal from it. Holy shit. So juicy. Confirmation with dog fuck. Bouquet compliments from an admirer. For one, you're about to make huge aesthetic changes to yourself. New wardrobe, new hair. One, you're about to get lots of compliments. For one, you're about to make huge changes to yourself. New wardrobe, new hair. Uh, so new wardrobes, new clothes, and new hair for one of you. And you're about to get lots of compliments. Um, so compliments from an admirer. I think they're going to like the new hairstyle or new hair color or new haircut, how that resonates and applies, and the new clothes. Um, okay. Um, public recognition. Public platform. Public recognition, public platform. So you have a public platform in some shape, form, or fashion on social media. It's going to be public. These people are going to... Um, compliment you. So I think you're going to take photos or videos of your uh, new wardrobe or hair. I think you're going to put pictures or videos of yourself on there is what I think. And they're going to recognize it. And um, they're going to compliment you, which is beautiful. We should always compliment. Um, I mean, if it deserves to be complimented, I'm not talking about fake friendship, but you know, if you really do like it, just saying, just saying. Clouds, temporary problems. This also could be uh, if you go out on the date with that person, maybe they're going to give you a lot of compliments. Is what I'm feeling for some. And a Leo feminine is about to get a huge creative spark, a new tarot deck. And it's going to make you a lot of money. And a Leo femme is about to get a huge creative spark. I heard a new tarot deck. Not a homemade deck. Not a homemade deck. A new tarot deck. I heard not a homemade deck. And I heard it's going to make you a lot of money. So um, creative spark, creative juice energy, new beginnings, creating this new deck. I heard it's not a homemade deck. Um, you could be a reader. You could not be a reader. But it doesn't sound like you made it yet. Sounds like you're about to with your creative juices. Clouds, temporary problems. <clears throat> For one, a mother is about to come to you. Need to fix a problem now. Your mother is about to shock you. But you know she means business and it'd be very smart to do it when she says to do it because she's not messing around. Whoa. And she, she has every right to ask you to do this. Okay, I heard she has every right to ask you to do this. Oh, my God, Leo. So, okay. So, whoever that's for, okay, however this resonates, she has every right to ask you to do it. So, I think you might live with your mother or you might have guardianship over her. And, you know, if you have guardianship over someone, it's your responsibility to take care of them. So, I feel you might have guardianship over her or you might live with her. However, that resonates in the clocks.
But I heard she has every right to ask you to do it. And I heard it'd be smart to do it then and now. Because she has every right to ask you to do it. So I feel you're either her guardian. So you, you're responsible to take care of her. Or you live with her. And you live under her roof. How that resonates and applies. Temporary problems. It's your mother. So I feel your biological mother, Leo. Uh, how that resonates and applies. But for some reason, she has... Um, she has every right to ask you to do it now, and I heard be smart to do it then, and she has every right to ask you. So, temporary problem. Your mother is about to come to ask you to do something now. Whatever the hell that is, okay? I told you what I thought it could be with the guardianship or you living with her, but it really could be anything. But you take it how it resonates. For one, a trip to the airport is not going to go the way you expected. Hey, uh, Lily, UPS is here. <coughs> UPS is here. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. She's at the front door. Uh, she's, coming. she's coming, sorry, I apologize. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so I heard for one of you guys, a trip to the airport is not going to go um, the way that's expected. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So some, uh, one of you guys is about to go to the airport soon. <coughs> Excuse me. You're about to go to the airport soon in some shape, form, or fashion. And I heard it's not going to go the way you expected. So um, Roadblocks, roadblocks, and delays. Roadblocks and delays is what I just heard. Roadblocks and delays. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So one of you guys, you're going to the airport soon. Um, it's not going to go the way you expected. Roadblocks and delays. So why were you going to the airport and how that resonates and applies in your life, Leo? Some kind of roadblocks and delays on your trip to the airport. If that resonates and applies for you, temporary problems, roadblocks and delays. On your trip to the airport. Uh, Leo is getting a huge wake up call. Very huge wake up call. Very huge. Uh, Leo is getting a huge wake up call. Very huge wake up call. Very huge. Anna Scorpio. Anna Scorpio. A Leo and a Scorpio is getting a very, very huge wake-up call. Very huge. So, Leo, one of you guys is getting a huge wake-up call. Very huge wake-up call. And a Scorpio. A Leo and a Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call. You have Leo or Scorpio in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, moon, behavior, Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates. So, maybe one of you guys works at an airport or you're going to take someone to an airport or pick somebody up from an airport or something of that nature. Or somebody you know works at airport or something. Someone that severely bullied you behind the scenes, severely, severely, severely bullied you behind the scenes. They are telling people that you bullied them. But through many series of chain events, it's about to be revealed that they bullied you, which is the way it really went. And it's about to come from people they would have never expected. Soon and quickly. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So someone that severely bullied you behind the scenes. So severe narcissistic sociopathic energy. They did it behind the scenes. They didn't want you to know it was them, basically. Um, and they kept doing it 
Okay, and they, okay, so that's harassment. They kept doing it. So they kept bullying you behind the scenes and behind the scenes and behind the scenes, and they kept doing it. So harassment, basically. Um, they bullied you behind the scenes, I heard, Leo, but they want other people to think that you did it to them, but I heard you didn't. It was them that did it behind the scenes to you, like narcissistic sociopathic energy. But I heard soon it's about to be revealed that they really were the bulliers and harassers to you secretly behind the scenes. And it's about to come from people they would have never expected about to reveal the information. And it's about to come quick. And it's about to come quick. Well, good. Because that is such severe narcissistic sociopathic energy to blame somebody for something they did. And that's just the truth. You need to take accountability and responsibility for your actions. And that's just the truth. And this person doesn't want to do that. They're about to be forced to through many series of chain of events. Okay, I heard they're about to be forced to through many series of chain of events. They're about to be forced to take accountability and responsibility for their actions through many series of chain of events. Well, good. They should. A secret conversation between a Libra and a Sagittarius is about to be intercepted by someone they would have never expected soon. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. A secret conversation between a Libra and a Sagittarius is about to be intercepted soon um, by someone they would have never expected. Um, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. So some kind of secret conversation between a Libra and a Sag. It could be Masculine Femme Libra, Masculine Femme Sag. So they could have Libra or Sag and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Femme, and Hand with Jupiter charts. Um, it's about to be intercepted soon. So intercepted means caught or read or exposed, basically, by someone they don't want to be caught, read, or exposed by. Um, and it's about to benefit you in a huge way, Leo. So um, some kind of secret conversation. For one, you're about to be sent extremely nasty photos. Extremely nasty photos. Dick pic. Oh my God, I heard dick pics. Dick pics. And naked pictures. Dating site and Facebook. It is about to turn you off so bad. For one, you're going to laugh. For one, you're going to turn it around on them on a way they would have never expected. Exposure. Exposure. But not of the naked body. Exposure, but not of the naked body. So I wonder if you're going to black out their penis. Or you're going to um, black, black out like the boobs or the penis or the naked photo part and just expose like their head or something and not the name or maybe you will expose the name wow that's interesting okay so for one of you guys you're about to something about a dating site and something about facebook so one of you guys i think is on a dating site or you're about to be on a dating site one you have facebook or you're about to gain access to facebook how that resonates and applies but one of you guys you're about to receive some kind of dick pic i did hear dick pics so penis pics and um naked i guess dating pictures I don't, when I date, I don't send naked photos. I mean, I did way, way, way back in the day, like a decade ago, but I'm 39 years old, man. That's not the way I would date these days, and that's just the truth. Um, we're supposed to upgrade, not downgrade. Um, I mean, I'm not saying I've never sent a nice boot pic, because I have, but it's been like a decade. So, my point is, is somebody's out there sending naked photos and dick pics and all kinds of weird, low vibrational shit. And one of you guys is about to receive them, either through Facebook, uh, I think in Facebook Messenger, I'm presuming, because if they do it publicly on the Facebook platform, their ass will get um, hopefully reported, and that's just the truth. So either through Facebook, 
um, I'm thinking Messenger or something to do with Facebook and um, <laughs> and um, uh, um, what was the other one? Oh, I gave you the bird. <laughs> I don't mean to give you the bird. My bad. I'm having too much, way too much fun with this damn reading. <laughs> Facebook or um. <laughs> I just remember back in the day when I used to send that shit. Why? Why? Why do people do that shit? We need to upgrade the dating game, man. Nobody will ever get a, a picture of me, a naked picture of my ass, ever a day in their life. The only time they would see me naked is if we're having sex. And that's just the truth. Um, I will never do that ever a day in my life. And that's just the truth. <laughs> so, um, but you know, you court tier free will do what you want to do. So I feel it's either through Facebook Messenger or, um, uh, <laughs> Shit, I got a, I got a brain fart. <laughs> Facebook, look, damn it. What was the other one? Oh, the dating site, the dating site. Facebook Messenger or the dating site. But how that resonates, I heard, um, for one, you're just going to laugh it off. For one, you're going to turn it around on them. So that's why I think you're going to black out like the dick or the naked photo. And I think you might post the posting like publicly. Um, is what, I don't know how you're going to expose them, but that's what I think you might do. <laughs> like black out the nakedness and expose what they've been sending you. <laughs> and publicly humiliate them. Well, that's what they get for sending you that shit. And that's just the truth. But you plug it in, how it resonates. <laughs> oh, temporary problems. Oh, man. So one, you're on a dating site or you're about to be, and one, you've got Facebook or you're about to have it. Man, this is cracking me up. Oh. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Someone is about to ask to be your roommate soon. There are many series of chain events. Use your best discernment. Someone is about to ask to be your roommate soon. You uh, Use your best discernment. So, okay. So, for one of you guys, somebody's about to ask to be your roommate. So, I think you have a room or rooms that they know is available in your home space. Um, and that's why they're about to ask to be your roommate. But I heard, be, use your best discernment um, if that resonates and applies. And I think it's somebody you know. Unless you uh, have posted like on um, Craigslist or Facebook, um, not Facebook. Facebook or Craigslist or a social media platform or something uh, announcing that you've had a room for available, how that resonates and applies. Unless you're publicly posting it, you know, on like a public social media platform. You could be for some. For some, I think it might be somebody you know. But somebody's about to ask to be your roommate. Uh, but I heard you use your best discernment. So if it's not somebody you know, I would suggest doing background checks on these people. And that's just the truth. Okay. A Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call that somebody used a filter in the past and somebody has never used a filter. A Scorpio is getting... Oh, I'm getting the weirdest damn messages. Uh, heavy Scorpio energy in here, Leo. You are pulling in a Scorpio grandmother, a Scorpio parent, a Scorpio that wants to date you. You've got Scorpio. You've got water so damn heavily drowned in your damn reading. I don't know what to do. And that's just the truth. Um, Shit. So, <laughs> so for one of you guys, um, a Scorpio is getting a huge wake-up call that someone uses a filter and someone does not. So that could be you that uses a filter or doesn't use a filter or somebody else uses a filter or doesn't use a filter. Um, if you're using a filter, there's a reason you're using a filter. And it, um, I don't use no filter. Yeah, I'm an old bitch, but uh, at least you know you're getting what you see. And that's just the truth. Wrinkles and all. And that's just the truth. So, um, <laughs> so a Scorpio, um, uh, I think this Scorpio might watch my reading. They're most certainly going to. <laughs> They're most certainly going to. Hey, Scorps, how are you? <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this shit. Oh, my God. Okay, I heard from one of you guys in school. <laughs> I'm done.
Okay, I heard a Scorpio. Uh, apparently, he's gonna watch this. <laughs> And um, they realize somebody uses a filter and somebody doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do not be tempted to lower your standards. So I guess for the person that uses the filter, or they don't. I, somebody's heavily dating through online dating. Whether it's you or this Scorpio, somebody's heavily dating through online dating. I am just being for real, for real, Leo. Only you know if you're heavily dating through online dating or not. And somebody using a damn filter. Be your damn self. And that's just the truth. Retaliation of the past of you is about to backfire on many people. Many people you were very heavily retaliated against. And a high vibrational Scorpio is actually about to help you out on this in a huge way. Well, high vibrational Scorpio energy. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm cutting up, but I'm, I'm back to reality. Okay, so you were he very heavily retaliated against in all seriousness. And let me tell you, I've been retaliated against in the past. Very heavily retaliated against. I have. But I know a lot of you Leos have. Um, but somebody else has been heavily retaliated against too. And let me tell you, it's not fun. That's where the gang stalking came into play, I feel, for me and my kids. Was the retaliation. And I'm serious. Like, it was terrible. It was terrible. And that's just the truth. Um, we couldn't go anywhere in our city without some kind of gang stalking. And it was retaliation. And I know it was. And that's just the truth. But I heard for one of you guys, a high vibrational Scorpio is about to help you out with that. So that's good. So um, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Um, don't accept anything that you shouldn't accept, basically, Leo. Don't put yourself in positions where um, you where you would be, where you would feel like you have to take it, if that makes sense. Like if they don't offer you correct or offer you what you deserve, then have the willpower to back away basically is what i'm um gathering in with that and i feel that could go with online dating that could go with job offers that could go with business opportunities that can go with anything and that's just the truth someone is gossiping that you are a tarot reader one hates your tarot reader. One loves your tarot reader. One, they're very highly embarrassed you're a tarot reader. Someone is heavily gossiping you're a tarot reader. So one, you're a tarot reader. One, they hate your tarot reader. One, they love your tarot reader. One, they're embarrassed you're a tarot reader. Well, I just want to say to the one they're embarrassed you're a tarot reader. Why are they embarrassed that you're a tarot reader? You have nothing to do with them, even if they're toxic family. Um... And I'm just being for real, for real. Because the only reason I would think anybody would be embarrassed that you're a tarot reader is if they're connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Well, unless it's a lover, a family, a like, toxic family, or something like that. But the thing is, if they're a lover or a toxic family, all they got to do is break up with you or you break up with them and they'd move on. If they're toxic family, they ain't got to speak to you. And that's just true. So that's the way I look at it. But somebody is gossiping your tarot reader. One hates your tarot reader, one loves your tarot reader, one's embarrassed your tarot reader. Well, if they hate or embarrass your tarot reader, they need to move on. That's the way I look at it. But one loves your tarot reader. So do not be tempted to lower your standards. Basically, um, I take it as the people that hate or embarrass your tarot readers, just block them out of your life. And that's just damn true. There's block on the phone for a reason. A Libra once obsessed over having your life in the past. Obsessed over it. A Leo needs to hear this. 
And soon, beautiful things are about to start happening for you. They're about to be very pissed. <coughs> a Libra once obsessed over having your life in the past, obsessed over it. And a Pisces. A Libra and a Pisces. A Libra and a Pisces obsessed over having your life in the past. So if this resonates for you, Leo, a Libra and a Pisces. So they can have Libra or Pisces and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Ham, and Jupiter charts. They obsessed over having your life in the past. So they basically wanted your life. They want to be you, which is weird. Why don't you just take, peel the damn skin from my face and pluck it on your damn body? Like some weird Hannibal Lecter shit. I feel like if they could have, they would have. That, that's the kind of energy I'm feeling. I'm just being for real for real. That's weird. But... They're not, I don't sound like they're obsessing over it anymore. It sounds like they might be the ones embarrass your terror reader, hate your terror reader, or gossiping about you. Hell, I don't know. But they once obsessed over having your life. They once obsessed over it. But now they, they're not. So I think they're just talking about trash. And that's just true. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> oh, new beginning. A Capricorn is about to create many native series of chain events for Pisces and a Libra regarding money they stole from you in the past. A Leo needs to hear this. A Capricorn is about to start creating many negative series of chain events for a Pisces and a uh, Libra that stole a lot of money from you in the past. A Leo needs to hear this. So for one of you guys, a Pisces and a Libra, it might be that same pace of Pisces or Libra or a different one. Um, you plug in how it resonates, but they stole a shit ton of money from you in the past. Um, they're about, the Capricorn is about to start creating mini series of chain events, negative series of chain events for them because they stole money from you in the past. If that resonates, it applies for you. Um, new beginning. Cycle changes are about to start happening very, very, very fast. Very fast. For many Leos. Cycle changes are about to start happening very, very, very fast for many Leos. So cycle changes are about to come fast for a lot of you guys. So new beginnings, new cycle changes are about to start happening fast for a lot of you guys. So new beginnings, cycle changes, and it's about to start happening fast for a lot of you guys. Well, that's good. I feel that can go in your favor, not in your favor. It's like Wheel of Fortune energy. So, um. Cycle changes. Um, the wheel's going to start turning. The wheel keeps on turning. Oh! Rolling. Oh! Rolling. Oh! Rolling on the river. Just saying. So, cycle changes. It's coming. It's coming, baby. It's coming. It's going to go in your favor or not in your favor. Just saying. Just saying. Okay? So, new beginning. Cycle changes. Um, I love it! And Aaliyah is about to find out about a very ill person. Heavy family energy. And a Leo is about, one it is a Leo, one it is not. Okay, so very ill family energy. Uh, one of you guys, it doesn't sound like you know about it yet, but you're about to find out about it, whether it's in your family or not in your family. One is another Leo, one it is another sign. Um, ill in your family energy. I don't feel it's you, if that resonates for you. A Leo is about to get sent roses. And a Leo is about to get a very large donation soon. A Leo is about to get sent roses. And a Leo is about to get a very large donation soon. So some kind of large donation in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel you could have a cash app, Venmo, or PayPal. Or some other way they can donate to you, Leo. Um, and for one, you're about to get sent roses. So new beginnings, the donation, the roses. Um... That the roses could be the compliments from an admirer. Hell, it might be. Hopefully, it ain't no stalker creep for the one sending you the dick pics. Just saying, just saying, just saying. I hope not. Damn. A particular Leo is about to get a very huge influx of younger energies about to come to their social media 
tarot reading channel. A huge influx. The power of the people. Power of the people. You're very inspirational. Power of the people, you're very inspirational. So if one of you guys are about to get a huge influx of younger energy, so I'm feeling um, 35, 34 below people, masculine or femme, about to come to your online tarot reading social media platform. I heard uh, you're very inspirational. Um, now, I didn't hear how old you are. Um, Leo, but um, you're an older Leo. You're an older Leo. You're an older Leo, so 35, 36 or above, Leo, uh, if that resonates for you. But you're about to get a huge influx of younger people. So I'm feeling 35, 34 below, mask or fem, about to come to your online reading social media platform. Do an online platform reading platform. And that'll be New Beginning. Um, I think I heard you're very inspirational. So I think they already think you're inspirational or you're, or, they're about to see you as inspirational um, and they want to check out your online tarot reading channel. Um, and that's beautiful, ma'am or sir, ma'am or sir. You mean man or woman, older Leo. Um, how there is any supplies, but you definitely have an online popular social media platform. It's about to, it's about to make somebody completely speechless. It's about to make somebody completely speechless. <laughs> Shut the bitches up, baby. <laughs> I have too much fun. And that's just true. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, in, in all seriousness, I love it. So, for one of you guys, um, you're older Leo, 35, 36 or above. In all seriousness, I'm trying to come back to reality. Snap back to reality. Um. You're 35, 36, uh, 35, 36 or above, and you can have Leo any aspects, your charts, man or woman, and you're about to get a huge influx of younger people. So, like, um, are there your inspiration? So, I think they already see you as an inspiration, or they're about to. Um, and I think um, you're going to help them, um, or you already, already have helped them, and they're about to find out you have a platform, and that's why they're about to come. But it sounds like it's about to be a shit ton of them. A lot of them a lot 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 of them a lot oh my god there's so many a lot a shit ton of a lot there leo they might get a phone text or email or some kind of phone communication about your reading uh channel is what i feel communication is about to go out like wildfire wildfire communication is about to go out like wildfire so i think they're going to receive a text phone um call voicemail what well i don't know i don't do whatsapp but some kind of phone something 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 is what i'm saying they're about to receive some kind of phone communication about your um tarot reading channel um uh, and uh and they're gonna love it and they're gonna love it i heard they're gonna love it so that's good so good so it's gonna create new beginnings positively for your online tarot reading business is what i feel <laughs> i have too much fun with this roll it out Rolling out, rolling on the river. For one, you're going to start a new job very soon, and it's about to start going very fast, very fast in positive ways. You will meet somebody in this company that's going to mean a lot to you, a lot, but it it's not going to happen immediately. They know you, and they're trying to figure out a way to meet you strategically without tipping you off they get telepathic communication and they know you do too but as soon as you meet them you're going to know they do and they're going to know you do they're an emperor energy 
Oh, an Emperor Energy. Okay, so for one of you guys, you're about to start a new job. And I know it's an hour long, but we're, I don't, well, I'm, on, I'm going to close it soon. These readings have been long, but they've been good. So for one of you guys, you're about to start a new job soon. And um, and I heard it's going to move like eight of wands with a five, five, five. So quickly with cycle changes, very fast, but in a positive, fast way. So, you know, you want your body moving. You want to get out there and you want to be moving, man. Stuck in stagnancy just is for the fucking birds. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. It just is. So you want to be out there and moving. And that's just the truth. That promotes healthiness in the world. Whatever you're doing. But it's going to move fast in a positive way. So I don't think you're going to be overwhelmed and stressed. I just think it's just going to move fast. And it's going to keep you going. Keep your mind going. Keep your body going. Keep you motivated and driving. Uh, like a positive driving force in the universe. Not feeling discouraged or depressed. Because you, you don't have a job. You don't have money. Or what have you. What have you. You see what I'm saying? Which is good. You want that. But I heard um, you will meet an emperor energy through this job. Uh, whatever job this is, Leo. Um, but they get telepathic communication and they know you do too. And they already know you. Uh, but they want to come in like they don't know you, if, if that makes sense. They want to come in like they don't know you. And um, and they receive telepathic communication and they know you do too. I heard they're very interested in you. And I heard um, this person will actually end up meaning a lot to you. And you will to them a very lot. And you will to them a very lot. And okay, so feelings will be mutual. It might be where the compliments from an admirer comes from. Um, they already know you, but they don't want you to know they know you, if that makes sense. This is, I love it. I love that. That's just true. Um, so, yeah, uh, another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. Another Leo is getting a huge wake-up call. That's cool, man. But, um, but I heard once you meet them, you're going to know, and they're going to know. And it's going to click. Like clockwork. It's going to click like clockwork. So when you meet them, you're going to know they know you, but they don't want you to know they know you. And <laughs> damn. <laughs> and there, there's going to be telepathic communication back and forth. But of course, we all know telepathic communication is silent um, unless you can receive it and you know in your head what the hell they're saying to you secretly, telepathically. I love it. That's my kind of person. And I heard that person is going to end up meaning a very lot to you. And um, you will mean a shit ton to them. But it's an emperor energy, Leo. So, I mean, we're talking. Uh, I'm thinking successful. Uh, I'm thinking successful business person or high level in their profession. Or like the emperor is all the kings in one. So, I'm thinking. Obviously, they're smart and analytical if they can receive telepathic communication and send it. Um, stable ground and reliable. Passion, desire, drive, and motivation. Um, emotions in check. I mean, like, they have all the kings in one with the emperor energy. Oh, shit, yeah. That's a, I, that, and that's me. I'm not dating no fucking body unless you're emperor with status. And that's just fucking true. Nobody. That's just me, though. Everybody has their own standards. And we have to do not lower your standards. Just saying, just saying. But I heard this person's going to start, uh, they're going to mean a lot to you. A shit ton to you and you're going to, you're going to mean a shit ton to them. You're going to mean so much to them. So much. But it's going to have to be kept hidden and they know it. And you know it. For a little while. Okay, I heard you're going to mean so, so, so much to them. So much. But it's going to have to be hidden um, for a little while. Um, I wonder if that's the one about to ask you on a date. I didn't hear it was. I didn't hear it was, but um, I pulled this person in very strong. Uh, very strong. And uh, for one, it, they might end up asking you on a date. That could be the new beginnings too. Meet this emperor energy. It's a new company you're about to start in, uh, Leo. You haven't started yet. Um, you haven't started yet. Uh, you might have been hired in yet. You might have already been hired in at this point or not hired in at this point. I'm not sure. But you haven't met this person yet and none of this has happened yet. And you haven't even started at this company yet. So I don't know if you're officially hired in to this company yet or not. Or you're contracted into this company. How that resonates and applies. But this person, this emperor, and I do feel it's a masculine or feminine, they're masculine. Um... I heard that you're going to mean a shit ton to them, but I think it's going to be emotions with the compliments from an admirer. 
like dating here or it just might be a good boss but i did hear emperor so i feel for a lot of it's a masculine or femme that takes on heavy masculine um but there's a reason they're gonna have to keep it in is what i'm trying to say so i feel i feel it's emotions related is what i'm trying to say i feel like i'm jumbling my words but hopefully y'all can understand what i'm saying okay feels emotions related and not not just like a good boss if that makes sense And for one, you're about to have, you're about to embark, meet new people to you. Through many series of time events, you're about to acquire a new boss. It's a feminine energy and she is about to be the best boss you've ever had. Wow. Okay. For one, you're about to, um, new beginnings. You're about to uh, meet a new boss soon, uh, or you're about to acquire acquire a new job, a new job or career or what have you, what have you. We're pulling in heavy career energy, heavy job energy, uh, what have you, what have you. But it's a new boss soon. Um, it doesn't sound like she's your boss yet, but it sounds like she will be your boss soon. And I heard she's going to be the best boss you've ever had. So um, new beginnings, the best boss you've ever had, Leo, if that resonates and applies for you. That's really beautiful. Um, that is beautiful. Beautimous is what I'm saying. Just saying, just saying. Everybody deserves to be in a workplace that where they're respected and appreciated. And that's just the truth. Everybody does. And that is just the truth. I love you guys. Everybody make wonderful choices. And namaste.